DM advertisers. They're annoying. I understand. So today, I'm going to show you a quick and simple trick. So basically, the logic behind DM advertising is, hey, I have a Discord server, I want to advertise it, and I'm going to choose to break Discord terms of service, risk my account getting banned, and risk banning my, uh, getting my server removed because I want to get a couple more members. Now, they think that that's something logical, which why you'd want to go do something bannable from Discord and have your server removed and banned as well, uh, and risk doing that kind of defeats the purpose. But don't ask me, because according to Discord, it's a bannable offense. So if you someone's doing it, not only can you ban them from your server, you can also report them. So, let's get into it. So first off, when you, as I said, when someone goes down the list, they're going to start going down your tab list. And if you're a staff, you have owner or something like that, they're not going to want nothing to do with you. They know they're going to get in trouble if they send you a DM ad. They know they're going to get banned right away if they've been doing it for long enough. And so they're going to skip down to your activity members, those activity ranks. They're going to be like, ha, huh, those activity, uh, those people that are active, maybe I want some of them on my server. And obviously, your active members actually have already invested a lot in your server. They've posted messages, they've gotten that rank of activity, whatever that may be. And so they put a lot of work into getting, you know, where they are on the server. And so they probably don't want to join some other server. They're kind of pretty invested. And so they're actually quite likely to send you a message being like, hey, this person's DM advertising. And also, most DM advertisers will know that. So they'll skip down even a bit farther, down to your members or your, you know, people or your users or the online section any of that the main majority of your members you're gonna skip down there and they're gonna start right at the top and they're gonna be like hey join my discord server well i got a little news for you dm advertising ends up in two ways either one you uh, realize it's not going to be helpful or number two you get banned and then you try doing repeat that all over again so what the simple trick is, is you take a little Discord account that you have, for example, maybe an extra one on your browser, anything like that, on uh, you know, Chrome, and you take that and you throw that on there and you just put that right at the top. Put an exclamation point in front. It's right at the top. And so when that DM advertiser says, let's just click on the first username and send that message, you get a notification. You see who it is. You see the DM advertiser. You have proof. You have, you can report them to Discord, you have message IDs, you have all that stuff, and you have it all on your computer, you don't even need to rely on anybody else, and the first person, that's the first thing they're going to do. And within getting that message, you can ban them as soon as you can. So not only do you have to not wait for anybody to send you a message, you pretty much know guaranteed that who's doing it, and you know for a fact that they're not trying to like set somebody up, there's, there's definite proof. And so you solve a lot of those problems with DM advertising, and they may get a couple more members, maybe three more members down the list. That's a lot better than half your server by the time you hear about it. So that pretty much saves and keeps all your members on your server and not advertising uh, for, uh, other servers without your consent, where most people, or a lot of people actually make money now from doing that on Discord to help fund their events. They, you don't have to give away any free advertising. You actually just get yourself a lot of benefit out of that, and you don't you kind of remove that problem. Now, here's a couple other tips I will recommend for this. So first off, um, or another thing I should say, is that when people go through and DM advertising, especially if they're watching this video, and heaven forbid you are a DM advertiser, and that's your method of choice, I will warn you, Discord does ban IPs from logging into accounts for doing things like this, because it's breaking the terms of service. Um, you know, unauthorized, unrequested advertising is, quote-unquote, what is bannable from their TOS. So if you want to think that's a great idea, good luck. But not only will you have your server removed, you can have any related accounts also removed um, and your whole account banned. So if that's really worth it to you, then by all means go for it. But for me, it's not. So here I'm making these videos and getting some nice amount, some members from, you know, talking to people like you. So you have a couple other accounts. Maybe you have maybe three, four, somewhere around there. Maybe one kind of near the top because people aren't going to want to scroll down all the way to the bottom to DM advertise they're just going to kind of go right at the top. And so they're going to be like, yeah, we'll go at the top of the list. If you throw a couple in there, even if they go to the first or the second or the third, or maybe you throw anywhere in that server list of the majority of your members, they, uh, they eventually are going to hit one of your accounts. And you're going to know quite soon whether or not you have a DM advertiser. And you'll save a lot of time, a lot of members, and a lot of resources trying to track them down when you have yourself all those accounts in your server embedded in your server list you kind of get rid of that whole problem and there goes all your dm advertising 
makes it a lot better and you actually get a lot more benefit out of doing this rather than having, you know, I don't know, there's there's really not any other methods to go through and specifically stop DM advertising. So this is by far a tried and true good way to do it. Uh, and I've used it before and it's a really great, great way to sniff them out and uh, figure out who they are before they cause problems on your server. So speaking of which, check out my Creators Hub Discord. Um, it's a big Discord server with uh, lots of YouTubers on there. Uh, with millions of subscribed YouTubers, we have any type of YouTubers. So if you're into YouTube, um, you have a small YouTube channel, you want to grow a couple thousand members or subscribers, uh, definitely check that out. Uh, we've had a lot of people grow substantially. Also, we have a Discord server specifically for helping you coach, uh, for coaching you with growing your Discord server. So if you need help with that, if you want to get more members, things like that, we've got a really high success rate with that on the, or with that as well. And then by the odd chance you're into computers, I do have a tech uh, Discord that's kind of related to my other YouTube channel about computers and stuff. So definitely check that out. That's you. But as always, thank you very much for watching. And of course, we'll hopefully see you next time. Goodbye. Also, if you're interested in advertising your Discord server on here, you can contact me. There's an email down below or on this channel. You can just contact me there and you can get your server advertised. Uh, it helps pay for the videos, help me pay for a lot of the stuff behind here. So it helps a lot uh, if you also want to support your server, uh, especially when the videos get like a thousand views or something Discord related. That can tra easily translate into a thousand members for your Discord server.